guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. So, in today's video, we read the title already. We are going to recreate Karina Kapoor Khan's makeup look. So, I do the series on Instagram where I recreate celeb makeup looks, and it's always a hit. I've never tried that on YouTube, so you know this is my first attempt. If you do like it, then let me know in the comment section. I would love to break down looks for you guys every now and then. Celeb makeup. Makeup looks are kind of very very minimal most of the time so it could be really nice for like an everyday uh, wear so this look looks very very minimal but of course there's a lot which goes behind it and especially in the pictures they release it usually looks so so minimal and blurred out but I'm sure they do do all these uh, things it's just that when they photograph edit and all these things a lot of things kind of like you know what you get overexposed and get kind of get disappeared but I zoomed in her picture and this is what I saw and this is what I recreated it's a very beautiful look you can wear this anywhere literally anywhere and especially with any bold lip color so she's wearing red outfit and red lip and i did the same thing when you wear a red lip you need to be really cautious about what to do with your eyes because if you overdo it it's just not going to look uh, cohesive and put together but this look is so properly balanced with the red lip and that's the reason i actually picked this out so yeah let's get started i'll show you how i created this beautiful beautiful makeup look hello okay let's get started so first i'm using the lacme gel primer so since it's humid and hot my pores are a little bigger now because my skin usually tends to be oily during these times which is quite normal so i'm just using a pore filling primer to fill it then i'm going in with the smashbox primer water i really love to you know prep my skin with this next i'm using lenses from ttdi the brand gifted me these uh, lenses but i've been using them since a while and they do have an offer running from 50 15th of June to 22nd of June 2021 where they have 75% off these lenses have a duration of one year this is the shade American Grey I do have a code with them if you want to purchase them they're really good quality very comfortable on the eyes next I'm going in with the color bar foundation the makeup looked quite matte in the picture I saw so I'm going in with this foundation it's a demi matte foundation gives a very beautiful skin like finish I do have a review on this if you want to check it out click on the top so i'm just uh, lightly applying a thin layer i'm even going with that foundation a little bit under the eye so that i can go in with lesser amount of concealer because her face does not have like extreme highlight or extreme contour everything looks very very subtle so i'm going in with the clinique concealer this concealer is like one one and a half shade lighter to my skin so it's not too much highlight but still it will brighten up the under eye next i'm going in with the daughter earth blush but here i actually went in with a pink blush which was a mistake i should have gone with something more peachy so if you do want to follow this then go don't go with a pink one go with a peachier one which i actually correct later but if you're doing it first time then might as well just go in with a peachier blush so i'm just going in with my elf sponge and blending out the concealer see the shade is not that different it's a very neutral tone concealer next i'm just going in with my foundation brush not taking any product at all just making sure the concealer blush and foundation is properly blended together and there are no harsh edges next i'm going in with the laura mercier translucent setting powder i went a little overboard with the powder but i did want that a uh, matte finish next i'm going in with the kiko milano bronzer again this one the shade is so beautiful on my skin it's not too harsh but it does bronze up my skin it's like two three shades dark it just gives me that beautiful warmth which I need like you can see it's beautiful next I'm using the same smashbox primer water and I'm using it as a setting spray and while that dries I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going in with the NYX professional micro brow pencil I just startingly fill startingly fill <laughs> I just fill the starting I don't do a lot with my brows I actually was trimming them today and chop them too much that's the reason you see bald spots in there but I just do very less and move on next i'm adding highlighter like you don't see highlighter in her picture but i'm just adding a slight touch just because when the light hit it looks 
really really beautiful i'm sure she has it but in the picture it's not seen it's very very minimal that's the reason i went in like very light handed you can not see that you know there's a highlight but you know when light hits it'll capture it well and that's the goal always next i'm using the same clinique concealer on my eyelids so that we can start our eye shadow So for eyeshadow I'm using the makeup revolution pretty incredible eyeshadow palette and I'm going in with the peachier shade once I applied the shade is when I actually understood I should have gone with more like coral or peachier blush because you can see my cheeks look pink while my eyes look peachier and more warm which is not a good look next here i'm just telling that don't pull your eye shadow too much outside because here in the picture they rounded off the eye shadow for karina kapoor like i usually drag my shadow outside my brow so that it everything looks looks a lot lifted and more nice and smoky but they did not do that so i'm just rounding it off next i'm going in with a semi shimmer peachy shade first just to add that depth then i'm going in with a gold shimmer shade and adding that on, on top of it just to like you know make it look like a nice peachy gold rather than gold gold because the look here in the picture has like more peachy gold next i'm going in with the lakme iconic eye pencil and i'm using that on my lash line to smoke it out so they just used a black liner it can be a gel liner or anything and smoked it out so i'm using this kajal pencil and i'm using like a small pointy brush to blend that out properly just using it tiny bit near the lash line and i'm blending it out first naturally by itself and then going in with my bronzer and blending out the edges even more so that it looks nice and smoky doing that on the other side as well for the bottom lash actually i didn't go with black because i felt it looked too high. so i'm going in with a dark brown eye shadow and they did not apply it like close to the lash line they applied really below it just to add a illusion of big eyes because later i'll be adding nude pencil in the waterline which will make my eyes look a lot bigger so now i'm going in with the wet and wild eye pencil this is in the shade calling your buff if i'm not wrong and i'm adding that in the waterline this is a beautiful nude eye pencil and it just will open your eyes up so much if you have small eyes you should try this look at my eyes they look so big so i'm using the l'oreal lash paradise mascara really beautiful mascara i'm just applying a really nice generous coat of mascara so for the low lash line mascara i actually went in with the pack mascara you don't have to do that that's too extra but i just did that because i have it if you don't have it you can go in back with the same uh mascara then for the lips i'm going in with the kiro beauty liquid lipstick and i'm applying that all over and That's it you guys done I just forgot to add in a corner an eyebrow bone highlight so I just did that I used the same highlighter the Balm Cosmetics one and highlighted my inner corner and brow bone that's it such a beautiful simple makeup look right i really love i've not worn a red lip in so long and this just looks so good together i really like how it turned out so yeah that's it for this video make sure you like share comment and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye